everyone. Hi, we're back again. I'm Brian. And I'm Sarah. And uh, today we're going to talk about a song called uh, Song of Joy, and we're going to sing the song. I wrote Song of Joy when I was in NLPU in Santa Cruz uh, in about 2009. And the whole world was in this kind of negative period. It was just after the Lehman shock. And there was uh, a real feeling of negativity in the world. The economy had gone down. There was a lot of unemployment. Now, now that it's all finished, we know that periods didn't last forever. And that's the way it always is, isn't it? The world keeps turning and things go in cycle and eventually prosper again. Yeah. And of course, now uh, we're in another economic downturn because of the coronavirus. And again, there is a strong feeling of negativity. Um, there's increasing unemployment, political uncertainty, and of course, the very real risk to our health. But this too will pass. These things go in cycles, don't they? And things will get better again. Everyone knows that. When we're in the middle of these really negative events, it's very easy to forget about the basic beauty of life. And that's what this song is about. It's called Song of Joy. Mm -hmm. It's based on the NLP representational systems. So when you're hearing the song, you'll hear, see those colors, feel them rising, hear this song of joy, see that beauty rising, rising, sing this song of joy. Mm. So we have all the modalities in there. It also uses the Ericksonian idea of pacing and leading. First, the listener is invited to notice their current experience and to be mindful of the simple beauty of the present moment. And then after pacing this current experience to hear the song of joy, the listener is then invited to sing. So we're going from a hearing to an active participation in creating this song of joy. I've used lots of other hypnotic language in this song. It was a fun one to write. And for example, the third verse it invites the listener to step into brighter times ahead and look back at today when you said, I have everything I need to grow that future from this seed. Some of you might recognize a pretty classic hypnotic pattern there. So doing this, it helps the listener step into the future time when the problems have gone and to look back and see how they were solved and how you already have all the resources you need to succeed. Because you do, don't you? You have all the resources you need to succeed. And the song also repeats a simple and fairly powerful suggestion to feel better now. Just feel, feel better, better now. Than before. Yeah. Right. And we hope you do feel yeah. better now. You might think that it's absurd, but 
Feel better now. Feel better now.